journal in the morning and this book written by my friend Taylor has incredible journal prompts to help you do some deep inner reflection so I was up really early that morning I really like to get up just as the sun is rising I feel like that is absolutely my favorite time of day and it was beautifully breezy outside and warm so I spent quite a bit of time sitting out there reflecting on the questions that Taylor posed in her book. This is a piece that I painted a long time ago. It's, I think I started it a couple years ago and I've had it hanging on the wall, but it never really felt finished to me. And recently I started adding some different textures and different media to the sections of the leaves that are color blocked and I like it so much better now. So I'm really glad I did that. Even though I'm on sabbatical right now and not working and can basically do whatever I want with my days, I still like to make a plan for my day and get organized most days because if I don't, the day just kind of gets away with me and or it gets away from me. And then I tend to feel a little bit anxious at the end of the day because I don't really know what I accomplished. So I'm just looking at my list from yesterday to see what I did, what I still need to do, and then I'm going to get ready for lunch with my mom. I just mentioned being on sabbatical. So to explain that a little further, the company I work for every five years we have this amazing benefit where we get three months of paid time off. So this recording happened right at the tail end of those three months off. I am super inspired by this artist that I found on YouTube and the business she created. And in one of her older videos, she mentioned this five minute journaling prompt she was doing at the beginning of her days. And it's to list Three things, three things you're grateful for, three things that would make your day great, and one positive affirmation for your day. And I've been using it for the past couple of days and I just love it. It's a really great way to start the day. And then at the end of your day, what is it? The end of your day. Oh, three amazing things that happened that day. Although when I did it last night, I listed seven amazing things. Um, and one thing that could have gone better or that you could have done differently, something like that. So yeah, just wanted to share that because I think it is really helpful. <laughs> Are you going to um, run the dishwasher tonight? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. I'll finish that. As a coach, I help people connect with their true desires, what they really want in life, and to create a life that they're really happy about. And something that I came to terms with over the past few months is that I'm an artist and this is something that has always been true for me, yet throughout my adult life, basically as soon as I entered the working world full time after university, I just stopped making art on a regular basis and I couldn't find a place for it in my life. I didn't pursue a career in art because at that time I just didn't really know what my options were. I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know how to seek answers. So I just 
assumed that there wasn't really a future in art and that I needed it to just be a hobby. And something really woke up inside of me recently where I now draw all the time. I've completely reconnected with my love of drawing and sketching in my sketchbook and it just brings me so much pleasure and feels so right and so normal. So I am here presenting this video and future videos to share my journey reconnecting back with being an artist and what that means when you have a full-time job that isn't art related, how to make it a regular part of your life while continuing to take care of the other parts of your life that are important and I'm figuring it out along the way and I'm making art and owning that I'm an artist and it's a really exciting journey that I'm happy to bring you along for. One way I really love to stay engaged with drawing and also to share work with people I love is to make handmade birthday cards. So in this case, I asked my friend what her favorite flower was and she said peonies. And so I painted this for her. And I feel like it's just such a great way to let people know how much they mean to you and for them to have a piece of something that you created specially just for them. I have a ton of writing I want to get done today for my India blog, so I'm going to do a quick sketch of these tulips before they drop all their leaves, not leaves, petals, just helps me get my creative juices flowing and um, it's always inspiring. Excuse the background noise, also doing a laundry. I cut out most of this process because of the laundry. This drawing was inspired by a dragonfly that I saw in the morning while I was walking my dog. It was so beautiful, so I came home and I drew it in my sketchbook before I started my work day, and then I knew I wanted to add some more drawings for the day, and I hadn't seen anything that was particularly inspiring, so I came back to my sketchbook and I thought, why don't I just draw more dragonflies? And that turned out to be very fun.
I also cooked some spaghetti sauce that day and used fresh basil, which I thought was particularly beautiful. And I remembered that when I was drawing the dragonflies, so I thought I would give them some basil in their life to uh, make sure they stay happy. And that is my life in art for the week. Remember to like and subscribe and feel free to drop any questions in the comments below.